All right, so everyone stand up. I want you to follow me down out of the classroom into this little uh, tiled area outside. Second Life is sort of what it sounds like. It's a second life. It's a, a virtual space that looks like a game, but in many ways is really just a, a social meeting place. Self and society in virtual context has always been a class designed around using Second Life as a platform for experiences in virtual worlds. Anywhere where people are congregating, meeting, doing things online, this class is all about understanding those things and how they can be appropriately integrated into a job further down the road. We are now in this technological age where you might be working with someone that's not even in the same like country as you. So being able to communicate with people and work in groups via the internet is very, very important. I think that sort of cynically you could say that online communities are just people who don't want to meet in face-to-face -face communication. I don't think that's fair. The people participating in virtual communities everywhere, they're really just people. And they're just doing the same kinds of things that everyone else does and just doing it maybe differently from each other. We meet in person on Mondays and we meet online um, on Second Life on Wednesdays. I think Second Life is kind of cool. It's kind of hard to get the hang of it because it's like building your own kind of world. Well, before I used Second Life, honestly, I feel horrible saying this, but I kind of was like, oh, I guess it's like kind of like a nerdy kind of type of game thing. I didn't really think that people used it to get ahead in their career or you know, meet people. Students in general are surprised. They come in thinking that Second Life is full of weirdos and freaks and that it's terrifying and scary. And, and at first it is scary, but I think that gradually as they go through the course, they really come to realize how normal it all is. 